Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is a special edition of the AFC Championship game on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Houston Texans. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl, and it'll be a great one between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Houston Texans. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. at the AFC in Super Bowl 54. And away we go on EA Sports. This will be taken in at the 1. And he'll be brought down at the 23. Make it the 24-yard line. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. Orchestrating the offense will be a man who, of course, won a national title back in his days at Clemson, Deshaun Watson. Johnson and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27 and let's look here at the Houston offense DeAndre Hopkins was named all pro for the first time in 2017 and really don't have to do much but look at the statistics to know why four touchdown grabs in 2016 jumped that up to 13 in 2017 that led all NFL receivers also added in 96 catches and close to 1,400 yards. DeAndre Hopkins' ability to get free in the secondary is a marvel, mainly because of head fakes and body control. And the big meet on the D-line, we'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. From the gun, here's Watson. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Watch out for Hill on the return. A great return there of 22 yards. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. So here are the Chiefs now under their veteran head coach, Andy Reid. Leading this unit will be the big arm man out of Texas Tech. 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. They didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, they created a big run. 
To the right side, it's Kelsey. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now McCoy. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. Here's the offensive unit, and heads up, look out for the Clemson Tiger. Sammy Watkins was brought in to make plays. That's what he specializes in, out on the perimeter or going inside. Go, go. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Mahomes to throw. Buying time to his left. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. It's first and goal. A chance for the first points of this AFC title bout. They'll run it with Williams. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Punching it in from a yard away. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. This will be taken in at the one. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Throwing on third down, Watson. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. 48-yard punt, 7 on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They have to be thrilled with that first drive that got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Now a throw for the All-Pro, Kelsey is complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. The defensive crew for the Texans. Here's a look. Benardrick McKinney is one of the tallest inside linebackers that you'll see in the game, but he has the bulk to go along with it. And I do think that his height is actually an advantage for him. It used to be that you worried about tall guys inside because they had to fight off low blocks. But I think his ability to see into the offensive backfield, see what's going on and read it, allows him to diagnose plays quicker and get there in a hurry. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, and he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. J.J. Watt just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Tally that is catch number one for him in this AFC championship. It's a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Williams. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. 
That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Now on second and 13, Mahomes. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man. maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. A nice pickup on first down, seven yards. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now the pass hauled in by Kenny Stills. A big seam, and he might go all the way. Touchdown, Houston. Kenny Stills, 73 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a... Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. J.J. Watt picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. After the sack on first down, Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes, eluding the pressure right. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. We got this. And now out comes Houston. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. And now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it out. And the ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Flush to his right. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. These two teams all tied after one. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter, as they've got it with a first and ten. 
Mahomes now to throw. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A gain of six there on first. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, he finds McCoy. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Now Mahomes to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks for those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody <laughs> wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defense is awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the tie. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Either not, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. We get a glance at Duke Johnson as he heads Mark, back yeah. out onto the field. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. They haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? On second down, Johnson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try to keep the defense honest. You mean also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Back to throw, Watson. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Here's Hill on the return. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 18. They'll start on the ground with McCoy. Jonathan Joseph there for the tackle. They call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. They fake the give. Now Mahomes is for his running back, McCoy. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to face a third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Mahomes now 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He'll have a first down past the 40 and all the way up to the 45-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 43. They go play action. Now Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. On the crossing route, complete. That's Hill. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 36 yards on the play. 
Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. Derek Nottie makes the tackle. Off the draw, here's Johnson. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. A gain of a yard gets him back where they started. Now it's third and 10. To throw on third down, Watson. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. Call it a pickup of seven, and that's going to make it fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. Fancy footwork at the 45. It takes a touchdown saving tackle to bring him down as he goes 32 yards on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? AFC title game, second quarter action, two minutes to play. And a reminder, folks, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report coming up shortly. The coach with us, as always, as he will start to look ahead to Super Bowl 53. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. When a linebacker was able to sit at the second level and see things develop in front of him, as soon as he got a hint that the quarterback was checking it down, he just made a beeline directly for the receiver and ended up making the play. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Shreds the tackle. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try to up his game. But just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Let's make these babies cross. Out of the gun, Watson. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Side. This is Stills. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Watson now 9 of 11 passing in this first half. He's got his guys at first and 10. Watson now to throw. 
Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnson. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. A 33-yarder from the left hash. The kick by Fairburn is good. So we come upon halftime in the AFC title game. As we send you on over. Yeah, who has time for a halftime show with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line? Let's get back to it. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC championship. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it struggled. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground. But that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. McCoy. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Mahomes now 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. On play action, it's Mahomes. Steps away to his left. This is complete to Watkins on the slant. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. An 11 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Going deep here for Watkins. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. I'm going back to you. I'm going back to you. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off down at the two. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. All that, and it only nets him a yard. It's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Now Watson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So they obviously decline that, and it is a touchdown. They still had the option, but let's face it. There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. Butker on for the PAT.
He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 22. Fresh off the pick six, it's Watson. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It's caught, Stills, right side. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Looking to throw on second down. Watson and Stills over the middle. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. To the air yet again. Watson finding fouls complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 29-yard line. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Johnson, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. And they'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Kenny Stills, his second touchdown of the afternoon, as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And, you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab the nugget when I can. The Chiefs offense and Tyreek Hill heading back out onto the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. He's going to float this over the middle, deep. No, oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. He is going to find Hill here, and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. Mahomes now on first down, flushed out right. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes, and he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender. Made him think, by that yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, 
Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then it curls back inside for the completion. And he takes it down deep Let's into go. enemy territory. It's a big run there by McCoy. 41 yards on the ground. So close. Couldn't get all the way in. Knocking on the doorstep down to the one. Nevertheless, fantastic run. Not only that, this is where you wave to your replacement. Go back to the bench. No way. I'm not coming out of this game. I got it down to the one-yard line. I want to carry it in. We'll see if they reward him on this next play. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Damian Williams with his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are able to regain the lead. A one-yard run on first down, another yard that gets him into the end zone on second down. Maybe not much for the yards per carry average, but hey, six points. Yeah, bottom line is it doesn't matter there. You've got to find a way to wedge it into the end zone. Yards per carry, that's out the window. How do you score? And on the second down, they had something going. They got a yard before. They thought they could do it again, and they got it done. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Did they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Tally, that is catch number one for him in this AFC Championship. It's a first down from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Jim, 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 Jim. Throw left side complete. That's Fuller. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Again, it's Watson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Watson looks to throw again. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, picked by Kendall Fuller. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes keeping it himself from 10 yards away. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. So they're down in the red zone. They opt to utilize his legs instead of the arm. It works out pretty well. I like what they were thinking there because in most situations now, defense is accounting for all the other runners on the field and, of course, the pass plays. But the quarterback position, oftentimes it is unaccounted for. Offense coordinator felt it, dialed it right up. Inside the red zone, is this something teams should maybe, depending on the quarterback, do more often? Definitely. If you've got a quarterback who can actually move it with his legs, that's an extra option and an extra weapon for you. I think they should utilize it more often. Now this offense ready to head back out there. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. To throw again on second down. 
Watson, he's got his tight end. It's Fells. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. On first down, Watson. That's caught by his tight end, Jordan Akins. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. To throw is Watson. Fells has it, left side. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Here's Watson. Screenplay, Johnson. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up fourth down. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Watson in the offense going to come up first and 10, and he's hit on all six of his throws on this drive. Now it's Watson. The hookup on the right side to Hopkins. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a look. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. From 17 yards out, as his guys are back within a single score. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Mahomes to throw. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. Second catch of this AFC title game, and he's got a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On the counter, here's McCoy. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball and keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Uh, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Now Mahomes. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. It's J.J. Watt. And this would have been returned to right around the 38-yard line. How about the big boys snagging one? You don't see that every week. No, you don't. But a lot of them are just reliving their old dreams, going back to when they were in youth football and in high school. They didn't always play defensive line. Some of them actually handled the football. And you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. 
This is caught at the 8. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Here's Johnson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Back to the ground. This time it's high. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, here's Watson. This is caught, and he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A five-yard touchdown as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with an extra point. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field, but now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. A very important extra point there, up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Set to take over, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. And it was his interception on the last drive that wound up leading to a game-tying touchdown. And somehow, you can make this a positive, though. You know why? Game tied now. So you're not protecting a lead. So you're not playing that way. You can't go get the lead again. So maybe it loosens him up a little bit and allows him to go ahead and be a little more free in his play. On second and nine, Mahomes on target over the middle to Hill. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. Back to throw, Mahomes. Kelsey, left side. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Mahomes now to throw. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. So now it's fourth down and short, and whatever they do, run or pass it, they've got to pick up the first here. Yeah, and you mentioned running it. That is still an option, but as you also said, they've got to do it quickly and get back to the line of scrimmage. And it's complete to Kelsey. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13 and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. This is McCoy, and he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. They stay on the ground this time, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. And they'll try the jet sweep here. And he's gonna get this one down inside the 15. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. On second down, it's McCoy. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup.
And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. Everything right now resting on the right foot of Harrison Butker. This for a trip to the Super Bowl. And the kick is good. He got it. And with that, they are off to the Super Bowl. And with this win and an AFC championship, they have reached the most hallowed ground in all of sports. That means they are the best in their conference. What an incredible feeling for this team to go through the entire season and come out on top and now go to the Super Bowl for the right to be called world champion.